Hey YouTubers, just a quick little update. Now I didn't do a video on this as soon as it dropped because it didn't necessarily seem like something that was overly, uh, you know, exciting when it comes to the whole Jigsaw stuff. Obviously we're all waiting, we're all waiting on pins and needles really for the release of Jigsaw on October 27th, 2017. Uh, I'm super excited, I hope you guys are super excited. Uh, right now I'm showing you on the screen here, you can see the new poster that they put up for the Japanese poster of the series. It's a lot different than what we got, obviously. And it kind of gives us a blurry look at the new Billy doll. And we saw this kind of briefly in the trailer, obviously, You've probably seen the picture floating around. It definitely looks like it has kind of a redesign. Definitely the glowing eyes is something completely new, not something we've ever really seen before. And it's just interesting. I'm really glad that they brought back the Billy doll, although I never really thought that they weren't gonna bring it back, but it's still really nice to have it back. Uh, the one thing I wanna say about this, I've always kind of find it really interesting about this, uh, not something we got here in the States, but something they got in the, uh, you know, the Japanese market for these films is back when they were actually coming out. Japanese people actually really liked these films. It was part of their culture. It never really did a really well, but back when these movies basically came out, the international markets weren't as strong as they were today, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how Lionsgate brings uh, you know, the movie, this movie to uh, the international markets and see how well it does over there. I'm hoping for some big numbers, not only domestically, but also internationally. I have a video about that on my other channel that I'll link in the description section below so you guys can go listen to how I think this movie could actually help the series as a whole, all eight films reach over a billion dollars. And another cool thing about that is just this past weekend, we actually got Annabelle Creation, the fourth film in the Conjuring universe, uh, actually help propel that franchise to over a billion dollars. And with The Conjuring 3, The Nun, and all the other stuff coming out for that franchise, it's pretty much going to become the most uh, successful, highest grossing horror franchise ever created at this point. I mean, the, each movie does incredibly successful for how little budget they actually get per film. And it's gonna be really interesting to see just how long that franchise goes. But I'm actually getting way off topic. The one cool thing I wanted to say here is yeah, the whole Saw film became part of their culture. Uh, you know, it was at least recognizable the same way as recognizable for us here. Probably not as big, but definitely understood. But when I was in high school, this is actually really cool. When I was in high school, uh, I had or I was in the Japanese program. Obviously, if you know my original channel, I do always have this affinity for Japanese culture or anime or something else like that. So I was in the Japanese program at my high school, and there was a kind of a uh, you know, for an exchange student thing where uh, we had people come stay with my family and it was really nice, although <laughs> quite expensive for the time. But uh, one of the things that was really interesting, the, the, the kid who actually came to stay with us had the Jigsaw novels that they actually wrote and produced and distributed before the movie actually came out in Japan. Now back then, and probably the same as now, we got the movie before they got the movie, so they got a novelization of the movie. We never got those things, and it was really interesting that they actually had those, and it had like stills. It was just, you know, the run of run of the mill novelization of movies. And I'm really interested to see whether or not, I mean, I don't know if I'll be told one way or the other, but it'd be really interesting to know if they're going to do the same thing with this particular movie. But with that being said, guys, I just wanted to kind of throw out this particular thing, throw out that little story. I think that was actually pretty cool, and I wish we had gotten something like that over here because novelizations usually are written from the first draft and we all know that the first draft has a lot of things that don't necessarily make it into the movie a lot of explanations or stuff that was kind of cut on the uh, whether it was filmed or on the cutting room floor who really knows but it was always a nice thing to read novelizations of movies to get a better understanding of what you actually watched in the movie and with the Saul films that might have been actually necessary so I'm really kind of jealous about that but obviously they're going to be looking forward to this film it says here yeah they're getting it on the 11th uh the 10th of November so yeah they are going to get it a couple days after us but anyway guys I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Obviously, I didn't necessarily do a video, but I might do another video about this later where I'm gonna be talking about my hopes and expectations for this stuff, although I don't necessarily think I'm ever going to go, but it was confirmed that Jigsaw is going to be coming to the Universal Horror Movie Night uh, maze thing that they do every year. So I think that's actually really awesome. I hope everyone who does go to that is excited. And tell me about it if you're, tell me about it if you've gone before or if you're planning to go uh, back when, when you actually do go, tell me about that in the comments. 
section below or you know come to the channel go to my twitter or something and actually tell me how it was and the experience any pictures are always welcome i'm super excited to see all that stuff so anyway guys with that being said i'm going to leave it at that i hope everyone has a good day it's been real